Hey everyone, today's it is about when your friends throw water at you. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. The sun beat down on your back as you walked along the beach. Your friends were already splashing around in the water, but you hesitated. You knew what was coming. Every time you came to the beach, they did the same thing. They would throw water balloons at you, call you names, and push you into the sand. You hated it, but you were too afraid to say anything. You took a deep breath and started walking towards them. As you got closer, you could hear their laughter. Look who it is, one of them said. That a little scaredy cat. They threw a water balloon at you, and it hit you square on the chest. You felt the cold water seep through your clothes. You're such a loser. Another one said. They started pushing you around, and you stumbled and fell into the sand. Tears welled up in your eyes, but you held them back. You wouldn't let them see you cry. Suddenly, someone grabbed my arm. It was Bakugo. He looked angry. Leave her alone. He growled. Your friends looked surprised. They didn't expect Bakugo to stand up for you, especially because you both weren't actually together. Bakugo helped you to your feet. He brushed the sand off of you and looked you in the eyes. Don't let them get to you, he said. You're not a loser. You looked at him, speechless. No one had ever said anything like that to you before. Bakugo smiled at you. Come on, he said. Let's go for a swim. You took his hand, and you walked towards the water. You felt a surge of hope. Maybe things were going to be different now. You swam for a while, and then you just sat on the beach talking. Bakugo told you about his life, and you told him about yours. You laughed and shared stories. As the sun started to set... You realize that you're having a great time. You haven't had this much fun in a long time. Bakugo walked you back to your house. He stopped at the door and looked at you. I'll see you tomorrow, he said. He smiled. Yeah. He leaned in and kissed you on the cheek. You blushed, but you couldn't tell but smile. You went inside and closed the door behind you leaned against the wall, and took a deep breath. Today was a very good day to you. You knew that the bullying would stop overnight, but you felt hopeful, knowing that Bakugo was on your side, and that made all the difference. The next day, you walked back to the beach with a newfound confidence. Bakugo was already there, waiting for you. He smiled when he saw you coming. Hey, he said. So, ready for another swim? You nodded and smiled back. Ready. You and Bakugo spent the rest of the day at the beach. You swam, built sand castles, and just talked. You felt happy and safe with them. As the day drew to a close, you sat on the beach with your arms wrapped around your knees. Bakugo looked at you and asked, What's wrong? I'm just... Tired of it. Everything. Bakugo knew what you meant. He squeezed your hand. I know it's tough, but don't give up. You're stronger than they are. You looked at him and saw the determination in his eyes. You knew he was right. You wouldn't let them bully you anymore. The next time your friends tried to pick on you, you stood up to them. You told them to leave you alone. They were surprised, but they backed down. From that day on, things started to change. You stood up for yourself more, and your friends stopped bullying you. You finally felt like you could be yourself again. You and Bakugo continued to grow closer. You became best friends, and then you started dating. He was everything you ever wanted in a boyfriend. He was strong, protective, and kind. One day... You were sitting on the beach with Bakugo, watching the sunset. He turned to you and said, I love you.
He smiled and said, I love you too. He knew that you were lucky to have him. He was your best friend, your boyfriend, and your protector. He was the one person who always made you feel safe and loved. And you knew that you would always love him, no matter what. The sun rose, painting the sky with hues of orange and pink. You felt a renewed sense of strength and determination as you made your way to the beach. Today would be different. As you approached, you saw Waku standing by the water's edge, his silhouette outlined against the shimmering waves. His eyes met yours, and a flicker of understanding passed between you. He grinned a wide and genuine smile that reached his eyes. Where did he tackle another day? He asked, his voice warm and inviting. You returned the smile, feeling a sense of calm wash over you. More than ready. You replied, your voice firm and unwavering. He spent the morning swimming in the cool water, the waves washing away and you lingering on anxieties. He splashed each other, laughed, and shared stories, building a connection stronger than any storm. As the sun climbed higher, he built sand castles together, interested structures that reflected your shared creativity and imagination. Each grain of sand added, each tower built, represented a break in the foundation of your bond. Later, as you sat on the beach, watching the sun paint the sky with vibrant colors, Bakugo held your hand in his. He said sent a wave of warmth through you, a silent reassurance that you weren't alone. You know, he began, his voice soft. You're incredibly brave. Standing up for yourself takes courage, and I admire you for it. His words filled you with a sense of pride. He had faced your fears, and in doing so, discovered a strength that you never knew you possessed. You looked into his eyes, as those fears, crimson orbs that now held the tenderness, were reserved only for you. Thank you. You whispered, your voice overflowing with gratitude. He leaned closer to you. You met him halfway. Your lips touched in a gentle kiss, a silent promise of unwavering support and unwavering love. As the sun dipped below the horizon, Casting long shadows on the beach, he knew that you had found your anchor. You had found someone who accepted you for who you were. Someone who would stand by your side, through thick and thin. Thank you guys for listening. Hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye.